Welcome back to another video. I am your boy Fat Cat. We got the Ready Rails right here next to me. And if you don't know, you're watching Free Smoke Home with the news for the coach, man. Today is no different. Don't forget, freesmokeofficial.com. Make sure you guys go in there, man. Check out your merchandise, man. All your shirts, hoodies, sweatpants right now available for your winter needs as well. You know what I'm saying? All kinds of different sizes, shapes, colors, everything. You know what I'm saying? We got it on there for you, man. Freesmokeofficial.com. Don't forget. Now, let's go to get into it, man. The first thing we got for y'all today, as y'all know, man, just the other day, we were talking about the versus battle, you know what I'm saying, which obviously was a legendary, iconic battle that went down. But let me tell y'all something, man. You know, the one of the co-founders of this versus battle was not too thrilled. Um, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily say uh, just this battle right now. Um, I, I, think this, I think this has been a... Uh, this has been a... If I must up. say, I think this is a build up, and this was kind of like, you know, saying the the last straw that broke the camel's back, um, at least up to this point. And you know, I, I think he's, you know, I think he's probably like, look, man, I need to go ahead and just say something and and, and step up and say something. You know, what I'm saying at the end of the day, because you know, I, I think he feels that people are trying to take advantage of the situation now. So if y'all don't know what we're talking about, man, we're talking about Swiss Beast is one of the co founder for, um, uh, 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 you know, the versus battles. Um, I, I see him comment that he wasn't even in the country, so he was he was watching it like from afar. Yeah, and he was commenting, he was in the comment section, and I don't know if he was on something. I don't know if he was drinking. I don't know what. I don't know what. I don't know what. He said he was at the country. I don't know what country he was at or what he was in, what country he was in. But I, so I don't know if it was giving him some good za za. You know, so, so what did uh, what do you say? Zone 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 zone. zone. Nah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he was on, what he was drinking on. I don't know what he was smoking on, whatever it is. But he was definitely very vocal as far as in the comp section. And he was typing out everything that, that he was feeling. Now, if y'all don't know what we're talking about, this is some of the comments that he said right here, as you guys can see on the screen. Man, I'm not even going to read it out, man. As as Rails is talking, you guys can kind of read it out for yourselves right there, man. But Rails, what do you, what do you, what, what do you, what do you make of this situation, bro? uh man like you said i don't know if he was just you know in in, in the moment wherever he was at if he was having uh a, a, a couple things to uh you know enjoy his evening or what the case may be but um right. man he like you said he was just firing off this is some stuff from you know twitter he was on there in the comments everywhere um basically you know he didn't say no names with anybody but you know, it's talking like, you know, folks late, folks drunk, folks this and folks that, man. And I was like, <laughs> man, Swiss is on one. Now, I know yeah, there, was, was. There, there were some uh, uh, recent verses where I knew people were very much so in intoxicated, you know. Um, and I'm not just talking about the hip hop one. There was a recent R&B one where you could tell that somebody was very inebriated during the actual verses and i'm sure um you know um he mentioned people you know want crazy money and and this and that at the end of the day to me i agree with what you said um it was kind of a build up i believe and he was just like man i'm tired of this man folks always late man folks drunk man folks want x amount of dollars man and they ain't had no show in in years and and, and stuff like that i think it just, you know kind of get to him but i was like okay he rounded it out uh to basically i want to say he took away from anybody assuming it was about this recent verses by saying this was an amazing one one of my favorite verses ever you know so um that's why i, I think that he made sure that he put that at the end of it man 
you, you know, I agree with you, man. Like I said, at the end of the day, um, you know, I, I, I feel like they started this as a, as a, as a, you know, it started, it started during the pandemic, right? And it yeah. started off as literally as a celebration as he was like, he loves to call it. It's just a celebration. Like, let's, like, let's, let's recognize our greats. You know what I'm saying? Let's recognize our legends in the game. And I feel like he, I feel like he's thinking and granted, you know, they, 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 they took it on the road, man. They're, they're mainstream now, basically, you know, then at the end of the day, um, they're not full mainstream, they're not on TV, anything like that. But you know what I'm saying? But they I mean, you know, it, it, it took off, right? It yep. took off. It's a, it's, 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 it, 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 it's in the, in the gap. It's in the stars, man. It took off. It's astronomical right now. And I think that uh, the people that he's dealing with, because, you know, uh, once he started introducing money mm -hmm. to the situation, right? Okay, yeah, like, like now we could pay you, right? And I feel like he's getting a little frustrated because now these artists are not doing it because they really want to celebrate themselves or the other artists, now they're doing it because it's a payday. Exactly. Right? And I feel like he's starting to get a little frustrated because, you know, I understand, like, you know, making money, bro, like we hear, you know, if we, if we make it, if we got a deal, we making money now and, you know, say, of course, you know, say, I can shoot, you know, we're going to shoot you a little something. But now he's saying that people are asking for these astronomical prices, you know, yep. say to, uh, to, to go perform, you know, to perform your hits. And like I said, all we're doing is, all we're doing is, is, is celebrating you, bro. And That's we're it. recognizing your greatness because on top of that, because matter, matter of fact, I, I haven't even been on the verses, um, app since this, you know, or, or the IG ever since this, this last battle. But normally he would show like the numbers. He would show, you know, saying they would not he, but you know, the whoever's running that that versus IG, they would yeah. show the numbers. They would show, um, you know, saying like the streaming numbers. They would show the versus effect, as he calls it. You know, saying like, yo, these artists' streams have went way up. You know, what I'm saying ever since the verses. You know, what I'm saying things like that. Yeah. And he's just saying like, look, like this is a good thing for everybody. Everybody around, this is a great thing. Your number's going to go up. You're going to be interested in what you got going on. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? We're bringing you, we're making you relevant again. That's, what that's, he, that's the reason why one of these, one of these things that he said right here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, uh, well, now it's, uh, it's not on this one, but uh -huh. he did say, ain't done, ain't done a show in 23 summers. Yeah. And you want to come over here and charge us like you done sold out arenas and you know what I'm saying? This, in these last couple, whatever years or whatever. Yeah. So, Again, I understand what he's saying. That, that was one of the comments that he said. You know what I'm saying? Again, here goes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, coming on stage after getting paid 10 shows in one versus, you know what I'm saying? That's basically kind of, you know, the gist of it, what he was saying right there as well. Um, and, you know, because he was just going off and off and off, man. So I get I get it. I guarantee. I mean, I understand what he was frustrated about because, like I said, I think he feels that it, this started off as a great celebration towards everyone. Like I said, you know, make it, make, you know, introducing you to the young crowd again introducing you back to the public and just you know and he didn't want nothing from them. all he wanted them to do was come on well at face value anyway you don't know what's going on come behind closed doors yeah but at face value you know hey man that was a great that was a great battle that was a great versus you know uh we're bringing these people we're introducing them back out to the public because you know the young kids don't know the young, look the young kids don't know who who three six mafia is they they're barely, they don't know who bone thugs and harmony is not the young ones my, my yeah. 18 year old son he may not he may know who they he may heard their name but he's definitely not listening to their music exactly. you know what i'm saying i, I mean it, it is what it is that's for us that's our generation you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so again he's introducing them back to the fold and not he both of them him and timberland you know uh, but uh, i think it's safe to say it, swiss beast is the the one you know the face of it you yeah know what I'm yeah essentially you know what i'm saying You're right so uh but anyway um I don't want to continue talking too long, but I get his frustration. I get where he's coming from. I think he wants to. I, I, I think he's. I think he's. I think he's starting to sense that it's. Uh, it's starting to get tarnished a little bit because. Uh, um, again, these artists are making it just. They're making it like another uh, gig. Yes. A, another yeah. gig versus what it actually what it started out as, where it was just a celebration of you celebration of being a legend in the game so because if it's just another gig then we could then then let's go get little baby and the baby and let's go get this that and third but you know he's he's shying away from those artists because those artists are still relevant today yes they're, they're relevant today he's bringing out the legends for a reason because we're celebrating the legends 
mm-hmm. on this platform to introduce you back out to the public. But if it's just going to be another a versus battle and let's see who's who, who's wet, you know what I'm saying? Then okay, well I, you know what? I'm gonna go get J Cole. I'm gonna go get the baby. I'm gonna go get K Dot. I'm gonna go get you know what I'm saying, Lil Baby. I'm gonna go yeah. get these artists that are relevant today. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna Absolutely. go get these guys if it's just, if I'm just gonna be if it's just gonna be a concert. Yeah, you know, and, two people going against each other for a concert, and 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 what happens, and this is uh, some of the things that uh, happen when you start to introduce money into money, situations right. like this. You know, um, and apparently a lot of money because these guys, are, I, I don't know where they're getting it from, but apparently they they're able to pay these guys a, a big bag because Ja Rule said it, Fat Joe said it. It was like, man, that bag is crazy, yeah. and you know what I'm saying? Like they said it a couple of times, and. Uh, I think uh, I think uh, Kiss even even kind of uh, you know hinted towards it. Um, uh, uh, what's his name? Dipset kind of hinted towards it. You know what I'm saying about that bag? That's the reason why you know Cameron was over, you know came out because the bag yep. was right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, and, and I don't know, I cut you off, so I'm sorry, but uh, but uh, uh, you know uh, the rest of Dipset was actually um, praising praising uh, Cameron. To make sure that the bag was right for all of them. You know yep, sure did. I to remember make sure that. that. They all got paid the right. No, no, it, it wasn't the rest of Dipset. Actually, it was the locks. Oh, the, the locks, locks yeah, was yeah, praising. Yeah, 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 yeah. The locks yeah, yeah. was praising Cameron to make sure that they all they bag was right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, if you gonna pay us, you gotta pay them too. You know what I'm saying? It. So Cameron, so they was praising Cameron. I don't know, man. Anyway, but the point is, the bag seems to be a pretty hefty payday. And um and, and that seems to be the only thing that a lot of people talk about. So when even when Busy Bone, you know, went off on his thing, the first thing they said was, "Yo, don't mess up that bag. Don't mess up that bag for everyone." Yeah, hey, hey. he came back, didn't he? He came back. So yeah. it must be. So what? Hey, listen, we're not talking about we're not talking about some guys that are up and coming. We're talking about people that's been in this game for a minute. So, yeah. I, you know, not to be, you know, we're not in nobody's pocket, so we don't know what they're looking like right now. But these guys ain't. Home, they're not homeless, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm we don't know how well off everybody is, you know what I'm saying? Because it's been a minute, but whatever it is that they're getting paid, it's enough motivation to make sure that they get yes, to the damn show, yes, sir. Absolutely, <laughs> to, to, that's, that that's it, right? Show. That's all you gotta say, right there, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm that's all you gotta I, say. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna be quiet, man. You, you can close it out, man, but that, that, that's all I got to say. No, nah, you know, you you pretty much summed it up, brother. You know, um, but like I had mentioned, you know, when you introduce a bag into a situation, you know, they got to look at it like this, okay? He's giving you a platform because a lot of these people haven't done like big shows in a while. They might do do some small stuff, some you know local stuff or whatever. But he's bringing you back to the mainstream. And what that's going to do essentially is it's going to up your streams on all of the streaming platforms. To me, mm-hmm. that would be enough because number one, I'm getting celebrated. You know, that's payment itself. And number two, mm-hmm. I know my streams and stuff is going to go up, you know, at the end of the day. So um, that's just my opinion. I think, you know, that got a lot to do with it. And I think, uh, as you said, um, it, it just mount, mounted up and he just felt like he needed to let off some steam at the end of the day. Hey man, drama at the verses, man. So we'll see what happens next. We'll see who's up next. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, um, I will say this though: now that the bag, uh, uh, now that they did introduce the money, and um, you know, certain people are starting to get paid a little bit more, um, maybe that's why we're starting to see some of these bigger artists. Like you said, man, Wayne. Mm-hmm. You know, Wayne. Yeah, and, absolutely. You know, well, Little John had already did it. You know what I'm saying? But that's maybe that's the reason why we are starting to see some bigger names. Not bigger names, because you know the, the names that I've done it respectively have have been big um but you know some of these guys that we think that would never like man they ain't gonna do that you know what i'm saying hey, hey. never Damn. in a million years whatever thought that wayne was gonna be on a versus stage not now anyway you know what i'm saying yeah. chris brown said he ain't doing it you know what i'm saying um you know a lot of these guys said they're not gonna do it so um now that that bag is ready or, or seems to be a little bit right we'll see if that's some motivation for these guys to do it because at the end of the day again Whatever that bag is, it, it's, it seems it's pretty to be motivating. Heavy. It's a motivating factor that a lot of these guys, call you know, hot headed or this and that and third or whatever they, whatever it is that they got going on on that versus stage, they make sure they get through. It. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> Absolutely. They make sure that they cross that. They make sure they cross that finish line. Whatever the yes. obligation is, they make sure they cross that finish line. Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, the locks. The, the first time we heard about that was the locks 
and, and Dipset. They was like, hey, mm-hmm. don't mess up nobody's bag, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we yeah. talk we talking trash, we did that at third, but do not cross that line because <laughs> we're not trying to miss out. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So, so there must be something in that contract saying if you don't finish, if you don't finish the show, whatever reason, you know what I'm saying? Like you you breached the contract basically. So, oh, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Hey. Let's move on, man. Shout out to, to Swiss. Shout out to uh, Timberland. Shout out to the Versus. Shout out to Three Six Mafia, Triple Six Mafia. Shout out to uh, to Bone Thugs and Harmony. As a matter of fact, um, they actually went on. You know, Fat Joe went on, man. He had Busy Bone on there and everything else. So uh, you know, we could have reported on that too, man. But we didn't. You know, so there was a lot. There's a lot going on. Yeah. So definitely. make sure you guys make sure you guys go check out Fat Joe Show, man. You could you could type in Busy Bone Versus on uh, on YouTube, man. There's a lot of stuff out there, man. Him kind of giving his account of what's going on or what happened and so on and so forth so mm-hmm. man drama 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 but that's why we introduce a bag right we introduce yeah. a bag more money more problems that's it <laughs> hey listen the next thing we got for y'all today real quick man we're gonna touch on it real quick it is cali muscle man yo cali muscles y'all see just the other day we reported that he was taking delivery of a cl1 we seen that crazy rap that he did on there and now he got the wheels on there too man matching the rap Rose, what you think about that, brother? Uh, this is this is a tough for me, man. Um, mm. uh, I, I I love the rap. Um, I'm just I can't lock in on the wheels for, for my taste, perfect. Uh, personally, you know, um, you know, this is something that he really likes. Um, uh, he said, you know, that you know that's what he was looking for, so forth and so on. Um, mm. Me myself. The only time that I would do like paint matching wheels is when you're talking about either a solid color or a, a solid, like a solid, you got a solid wrap and you're going to do a solid color wheel scheme. Or if you're doing paint, if you're painting your car and then you paint match the wheels, that's when it really looks good. But to me, it didn't seem like the green was an exact match because it was a lot, it's a lot going on in that wrap, you know. Um, like I said, it's something, the thing is, the beautiful thing about it is it's his car, so he gets to do it exactly the way he wants to and what appeals to him at the end of the day. I personally would have stuck with black wheels on that, or I may have even done like a machine wheel, but that would be a stretch. But I think when he had the black wheels up there with the wrap, that was money for me, in my opinion. But like I said, you know, at the end of the day, this is Cali Muscle ZL1, and he do exactly what he wanted to do with it because he the one that spent it, spent the whether it be small bag or big bag on it, he spent the bag on it. You're right about that. Number one, let's so let's get that out the way. Yes, but sir. Almost as Pharrell said, that is that is his money, man. So obviously we're not here trying to hate on him or whatever the case. We're just merely giving our opinion. Simple as that's that, it. Man, as, as we're here on YouTube, you know, what I'm saying doing that for you guys, man. So. Um, with that being said, though, I kind of agree with you. You know, if anybody knows me, man, or they've heard me over the years or watched my channel, they know that I am a, a very simple man. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to modifying cars, um, I like the simple things. And, um, bro, you know, this is just this is just not that. But again, you know, more power to him. You know what I'm saying? My thing is, he said he wanted to get rid of the Hellcats because it caused too much attention. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you kind of. Wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. Hey, I, I'm not wow. sure if the the Hellcat emblem was causing the attention, or <laughs> because because if, hey, hey, the way I, I was going to say bro. because this rack, this rack, right, this car right here, the way it's set up is way, way more crazier than any of the Hellcats he had. Big facts. You know what I'm saying? Big no, it's way more out there, more way more eccentric than the, yep, than the Hellcats he had. Definitely. But hey, it is what it is, though. But hey, there you go, man. Kylie Muscle with the new wheels on the whip. You know what I'm saying? What y'all think about it, man? Comment down below. Let us know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Um, other than that, man, I think that's all we got for y'all today. Yo, Rails, what we got for announcements, brother? Hey, man, coming up April 9th, 2022, we got the next big showdown going down to Dallas, Texas between Dunk Master and Demonology. You don't want to miss it. Once we get the official fly here, we'll be dropping it on Free Smoke. And keep your ears to the street because there's going to be another Gap Fest as well. So um, make sure you stay locked in. Once we get those dates, we'll let you know about those as well. Hey, and don't forget, do not forget, man. Uh, we're not, not saying I forget. I should say this. This is actually I'm sorry. 
we want to give a shout out and a big thank you for New York and your city, man, the real New York, for coming on to the show yesterday. That's what I wanted to say. So thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Dope show. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate it. And, um, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, make sure you guys stay locked in. Com I mean, uh, hit that notification bell. Subscribe to the notification bell. Hit that post notification so you can check all these videos we got coming out. And you can check out who we got coming on next week. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, we got big guests for y'all. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Do not miss it. All right? Other than that, that's all we got for y'all today. Yo, bless up to everyone out there. Big time salute and shout out to the Free Smoke Squad. If you don't know, y'all watch Free Smoke and we do this for the culture, man. We out of here. Later.